All right, so we're back. It's October the 3rd, so we're quickly running into winter. And look, we've got four pallets worth of wool, and they keep spawning. So I think we'll just keep going until we get full up. I wasn't sure how big the spawn zone was for these, but if if it's spawning now, I'm guessing we're going to get another row of four. So we'll just we'll just keep going with the wool for now. Because we're not in desperate need for money, especially as our silage is now ready to be sold. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. I think I'll give you two to tide you over. And that will be that. Right. Well then, sheepies. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to sell the silage, that is for sure. But we also need to fill up the animal mix, the feed mixer. So I think, I think we'll do that first and then we'll put the old trailer into the workshop and put it on auto mode. And before anybody starts moaning, oh, Seabird auto load. Yep. I do both. As you know, if you've been following, I do both. And that's because I can. And when we're doing stuff like silage and you've got to haul it a million miles. It just makes sense, doesn't it? It just makes sense. food for the cows. I'm going to have to do that twice because I need to do both lots of animals so I'm not going to do that now. I'm not going to feed them today because they don't need feeding today but they will need feeding for the next episode so I'll probably do them off screen to be fair this time round. Right, that's that done. So that can go back off. And we'll get into Big Max. We'll get the trailer on, we'll take it round to the little workshop. Change it into auto load. Find out who's given us the most money and we will go and sell our wares. Steady on, old bean, steady on. Right, trailer. Customize. We want auto load, yes. Customize, thank you. Splendid. Easy. Right, who is giving us the cashola? Who is giving us the cashola for silage? Folly down bales, it's going down, but they're the highest. They are over the back, I think. Tag. Show me, I think they're up here. Yes, there they are. Nice, okay, well we'll go there, and if the price drops significantly whilst we're in the middle of doing it... Ah, oh, I was meant to get the diesel delivered. 
Oh, we'll be alright. Might be able to pick some up on the way. Doubtful. What the? How's that? Better? I think so. <laughs> that was a bit weird. Yes, yes, we're loading. Can we get that one or not? No, I didn't think so. <clears throat> well, we should be able to get a full load. Going towards... Oh, I missed it. I'm not moving around to get it. They look like marshmallows. My daughter would be impressed. Dad, you've got marshmallows. Yeah. I have. <laughs> Maybe we won't get a full load going. We got to it. Is that enough? No. No. Three more. How rude. Just those three that we missed over there. That's typical, isn't it? That's typical. Let's get them. And then we'll head off down there. Make ourselves some money. I have no idea how much we're going to make out of this, but it's going to be jolly lovely. Go in, cab. Let's go in, cab. So obviously I've recorded this one straight off the back of the other one the last episode so uh, I don't know what any of you have suggested yet for what we do with the fields and that but I'm sure it's all great ideas I hope it's all great ideas if it's not well you're, you're slacking don't like slackers no need for slacking Get down there, comment. Let me know what you think. So we'll get this uh, we'll get this one delivered. We'll find out what we're getting roughly for a trailer load. Uh, and then I will crack on with it in a time lapse. Hopefully we'll have enough diesel or us. I'm gonna have to order some in. That will be sad. Looks like the light is on on the dash on the tractor, but it's not orange on our gauge on the right, so until that's orange, I'm not scared. Not scared one bit. A nice shed in there. I get shed envy. <laughs> How do we get in? All the same entrance by the looks of it. Fortunately the gates are open, which means they must be open. Whoa! We've got the push on then. Oh, come on. I'm not even stuck on any stupid trailers. I'll go this way then, I don't care. Clearly I do care, because I wanted to go the other way, but... Sell my bales. Thirty thousand three hundred and eighty-five. That's a... that's a good day's work. Huh? Just retire on that. That really doesn't want to go around with that trailer on, does it? I didn't remember having a problem with this trailer before for turning tight. It's not it's not had any updates. 
and even even if it did have any updates I've not installed them I'm sure I haven't anyway let's time lapse this little debacle Well, we got roughly the same figure last time. We split it into two, which I thought was a bit odd, but it looked like it made up to about the same figure. So I'm going to hazard a guess that this is going to be around about 12,000 for this load, somewhere in that region. 12, 11. Come on, go forwards. That's it. 12,882 not bad so we've made around about 70 3,000 something like that something, something like that yeah 72,000 maybe, maybe a bit less than what I thought. Good figure, quite happy with that. So I'm just going to get this back to the yard and then we'll have a look at some of the other jobs we've got to do. As you can see my diesel is starting to flash at me now and is orange so I guess I'm going to have to do something about that situation. So let's get back to the yard. I'll stick you down here so we don't get any silly problems like we did before right let's have a look let's have a look at what we've got going on uh, so we have wheat in stock and that is selling 66 six, 1 661 Long Meadow Stores, which is all the way over where we were. And oats, oh, that is 1205. 12.05 at Valley View Stores. Where is that one? Oh, it's that one up there again. Went there before, didn't we? Yeah, I'm sure we did. Um, I think we can get more than that. I think we can hold out and get more for that, personally. So we will hold out. There's no point rushing. Uh, what else do we have in stock? We've got linseed, did we? We didn't get rid of that yet, did we? Linseed, there it is. Seven, yeah, seven three six at the garden centre. Yeah, I think we'll get more for it as well. Seeing as how that's coming down. Oh, rain! It rained whilst we was doing stuff. Rude. 
All right, let's have a look in here then. Ooh, what have we got? We got that Steyr is still in here. This crazy unnecessary thing because so unnecessary, isn't it? Like we don't need that whatsoever. It's just a John Deere. It's just a completely reconfigured John Deere. I wonder how John Deere feel about that. Quite happy, I expect. They get paid lots of money. Yuck. That's nice. But we don't want it. That is not essential to our establishment. So we're still no better off really than where we were. I want to go back in there though because I want to have a look at uh, this one. And we want to look at rollers, that was right. So I got, I installed these, the Vomer. I think it was these ones. Well, they both they both do the same thing, but these ones are not as big as the other ones. So you can have them extra long. You can have, it raises tracks, not, yes. Uh, roller type smooth or you can have Cambridge rolls so this is what I was thinking right is that um, if we had it like that then obviously if we buy it with the Cambridge rolls then we can change it back to the smooth rollers for nothing and then we've got we've got it all in see and um, it's purchase is what I'm thinking I'm not thinking of rent so we've got those, so they're going to be about 30, 35,000. Um, and then we've got the plows. Where are the plows? We've seen the plow before anyway. I used it on Bally Spring. I can't even see it. Why can't I see the plows? There they are. There she is, Yermo. 230 brake horse we need for it at least uh, we want the 5 so 280 horsepower tractor is what we need for that I prefer it in the grey with the no oh. yeah. that's not right It'd be grey and grey grey on grey then does this change anything it doesn't it doesn't change anything and it's not going to change anything otherwise oh I think I prefer those ones and we wouldn't want to change that anyway so that's what I would be looking at getting is that plow the Ermo plow absolutely adore it so that's another 24,000 so we're in for 60,000 no 55,000 no 60,000 sorry 60,000 cultivator oh, I don't have any mods in I thought I had um, some Ermo maybe it's discs I've got Ermo discs yeah these aren't particularly wide only 150 horse requirement for that. Uh, it will be in the grey again as well. So we may get that. We may get that as well. Although it is pretty narrow. Three meters is pretty narrow. I'd like to be looking at six minimum for everything that we're doing. Apart from the plow, obviously. Um, and then we'll need a weeder. Did I get a mod? I've got the horse ones. Oh, I've got that one, which is my favourite one. The Iron Bock. I tell you what, the horse don't much, look much different, does it? I wonder if it's the same, same piece of kit. I like it, though. It's 
not as wide, is it? This goes to nine meters. What does the horse get to? Twelve meters. Does it double fold out then. Oh yes, it does. I see it in the middle. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, two hundred fifty horse requirement for that. So, what were we looking at? Two eighty was the most, wasn't it, on the plow? Two eighty, yeah. So what was the Massey? Uh, better double check this situation. Two seventy. Two seventy is our max. I'll do it. That'll manage it. It won't be a problem. But I do not want to buy this until it is back on the dealio. Here, uh, there's the vouchers in the same category. So we're going to have a voucher in to play with. We're also going to play with a T7. 270 is her highest as well. Which is silly because I know that they go up higher than that, so I don't know why we don't have that option on here. I think 320 is what they can be um, chipped and manipulated up to. I think that's the highest. But we'll we'll have that to have a play with whilst we're getting established still. So that wasted a load of time, didn't it, Zebra? Such a time waster. Great at football. <laughs> How are we doing here with the grapes? They're doing fine. Toms are doing good. I've already moved them. I moved them before I started recording. Um, you're all good. We don't need to move any more of them. Pretty, uh, pretty small episode. Don't want to get stuck into anything. We're not going to cut any more grass. So it's all going to be rolled out. Um, slurry. Noisy dog. Slurry's still all gone. Where's the trigger? Will it show me? No, let's have a look in, in here. That's the wrong one. Slurry. Yeah, nothing. So we're going to have to get some fertilizer delivered. Some fertilizer delivered. So hopefully I'll have more of an idea of what we're doing with our fields and we can start cracking on. In the next episode, once you've all given me some answers in the description for what to do with these fields, We'll need some seed so that I can drill in the grass. Because I think I think you're all going to agree with me. That's that's what I think. But anyway, relatively shortish one. Although we've had a, a lot of discussion about pointless things. There, there. Let's just whilst we're here, check on these. So, miles away for reproduction on those guys, miles away on puberty for those. We're still at 90% for the cows, so not quite yet. These 15 really need to be moved over, I think. So perhaps we'll do that in the next episode, as well as start on putting, getting our fields ready for the crops. Let's just look at our timeline. So we've still got plenty of time to get crops in if we want to through November. Um, except the linseed. We can't get the linseed in now until July. So we missed the boat on that.
missed the boat on linseed. Hmm. That's annoying. Not a drama. Could go with field bean. Could try some field. No, we're going to be out of time on that as well. All right. Well, doesn't matter. We will go with oats. We'll start putting them in. Oh no, I'm being stupid. Planting season. I'm looking at the yellow. So we're good. We're good. Sorry. Start again, Sebo, you moron. So we've still got time to put the linseed in in November. The same with our oats, which isn't too much of a drama because we can run over March, April. And we can do that with the linseed. Uh, just march on the linseed. And if we wanted to, we could go with field bean. But that needs to go in March, April, May. And then it's harvest. And that that's interesting, isn't it? So it goes in and it comes out pretty soon too. So hmm. I'll think about that. Alright, so we still got plenty of time. We still got uh, three days through November to put stuff in. Next episode will be in November. So we do need some concrete ideas as to what we're doing yeah thanks for watching everyone stay safe and may the weather be with you